collection you find today. No turkeys are talking, but we found these two box turtles here. Pretty neat. Just happened to come out here in the right away, make a few calls, and be looking around. And found both these little box turtles. Pretty neat coloring on both of them. But nevertheless, we'll leave those two little guys alone to do their own thing. But Anyways, welcome back to another episode to the Max Outdoors. It's the third week of the 2022 spring gobbler season here in West Virginia. Um, it is currently 15 after 8. <clears throat> You'll see there in the beginning of the video, Al hooted this morning well before daylight. No response. Come up to my high ridge. I've been sitting there for just a shade over two hours. Have not heard a thing. Seen a deer, that's it. I'm gonna regroup here and make a little loop around the ridge here as you can see behind me and I'm probably gonna call it a day. Um, had some pretty severe storms last night, but I don't think that would've had anything to do with it. Made have hung them on the tree a little longer this morning, but I don't know. Stay tuned, hopefully I can bring you some good content. I'm sorry. You've seen there this morning, a setup down here in our bottom. Um, I probably set right up on a turkey off here to our left side. There's just a little wood lot, about two acres. It splits our property from the neighbor's uh, hay field or whatever you want to call it. It's not really a field, it's overgrown, but a little patch of woods there separates us. When I set up this morning, I probably set right up on that turkey. Uh, you can hear me soft like a tree yelp there with my aluminum call. And, boom it answered right back which i hope that comes out on the video here but i probably sat right up on that turkey more than likely it could see me it wasn't but 50 60 yards away um, and that's my fault i know better than that turkeys roost a lot right there but <clears throat> see me out who nothing responded so maybe she was just on the limb by herself or who knows could have been a big old tom with a 12 inch beard on it 25 pounds who knows that's the way this season's gone so far, but you can't see here the little food plot behind me is going pretty decent. This is just clover. It's just red and yellow clover and purple clover in there. Maybe some different grasses spread apart, spread in through it. It's uh, it's about 10:20, 10:30 currently right now. I don't know what to do. I haven't heard a bird gobble all morning. Not real sure what to do, to be honest with you, but I figured I'd make this little quick clip right here and show you that I did. I sat right in the same spot this morning for four hours and 12 minutes to be exact. I sat right in the same spot, probably only called once every 30, 40 minutes. I didn't over call at all, just wasn't hearing anything. That one, I got to assume it was a hen. <clears throat> she called twice and the wind kind of picked up and was knocking. We had some rain last night. It was knocking the rain out of the tree and either she was on the ground when I got here or she flew down during one of the wind things that I couldn't hear but I never did see her. I could see up through there well enough and she could have seen these two decoys or 
it could have seen those decoys depending on what it was from if it had hit that other right away it could have seen them easily and either it wasn't interested or I bumped it out of there I'm not real sure can't really tell you what's going to happen because this has been probably one of the toughest seasons I've had in a long long time uh, I just don't know what to do struggling call a bunch don't call at all call very little hardly answering an owl hoot anymore in the morning I don't have time to roost them in the evening we've always got stuff going on in the evening I can't make it here to do it the majority of the time the time just doesn't allow but all right, everyone, we're going to do the little closing segment here to the 2022 West Virginia spring turkey season. Um, it's a pretty unproductive year for me other than getting to spend a bunch of time outdoors. Um, that being said, today is probably the last day that I'll get to hunt. There's still a few days left in the season, but Max has some baseball this coming weekend. and I won't be able to get out. It is what it is. I had a good time. Um, I did get absolutely drenched today hunting um, we had some torrential downpours very early in the morning and i was sitting out in it fortunately over here you'll see i was smart enough to grab my tree stand umbrella you think i'd have took the blind that i had there but too hard-headed to pack all that stuff around nevertheless my little tree stand umbrella did good screwed in the top of the tree put it down as low as i could um, Kept them pretty dry. My decoys here, you see, I just use these little fold up foam, little fold up foam decoys. They're easy to pack around. They, they set up in a matter of seconds. It's my little Jake decoy there, as you can see, he folds up real easy. Just use some plastic stakes to push them down on the ground. They're inexpensive decoys. They're not, they don't get hurt and they get turkeys tear them up or whatever. Um, they pack real easy in the back of your uh, turkey vest if you wear one. But nevertheless, you can see I was doing a little bit of inventory here as I was closing things down for the season. I don't think I'll get to make it out unless the baseball gets canceled. But if not, I'll have it all put together here. You can see here behind me, I've got my frog togs. I had to break them out this morning. They're, they're pretty well dry. I did get the gun all cleaned up and ready to put back in the safe. Um, I do want to mention real quick though, uh, everybody's been hearing the stories, I mean, the season's five weeks long now, you probably talk to a bunch of people, we'll watch other people's videos or whatever, um, there, there's been a bunch of stuff being said, per turkey population's down, they got the bird flu, uh, they don't call or gobble anymore because of coyotes, I don't know what it is, it's just a down year for me, usually the area I hunt in, north central part of the state, is usually pretty decent spring turkey hunting um, it just wasn't for me this year that being said what I was trying to say was is if you get on the DNR homepage you can request a survey for turkey hunting bow hunting trapping um, they, they, they I think they have a survey for pretty much any season you want grouse hunting I, I know there's a bunch of them I've been trying to do my part and uh, get some accurate numbers back to the, the biologist I feel it's kind of important so they can get a better accurate uh, interpretation of what's actually going on in the woods versus them trying to go out and net a bunch of turkeys or rely on the uh, harvest count. Um, but anyways, there's a survey on there and, and I just finally f filled out my survey. I haven't sent it in yet, but I did fill it out. But I did hunt 11 days with 54 hours total in those 11 days is what I ended up hunting. What I seen was 17 hens, four jakes, one long beard, seven coyotes, one bobcat, and four possum. Out of that coyote population, none of them I could catch on camera. Um, either didn't have a filming, or the first week there, you couldn't really see it. It just blipped across the screen. Uh, there is two less coyotes that we got to deal with, courtesy of the old Mossberg, but it is what it is. I think the coyote numbers are way up, especially here in the north central part of the state, they're way up. Um, I did make it down to week four of the season, I did make it down to hunt Webster County. I hunted down there four days on my on my leases I'm on. Uh, that's where <clears throat> that's where I seen the long beard down there, but I seen him leaving it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. I seen him, he was in the same area. Uh, I got on that bird two days in a row. 
was hunting with a guy that didn't want to be on camera. That's why we didn't get it. It was another lease, lease member, and he chose not to do it, so that's fine. He didn't want to be on video. I have no hard feelings there, but we worked that bird, and he's a good turkey hunter. He just wouldn't leave where he was. Uh, there was no obstacles in between us and the bird, but he couldn't make the hens come to us, but it, it, it happens to all of us. But that's the long beard I've seen. The four jakes I've seen was the uh, first, was the second week of season. I was on some public property that I didn't film. I was packing light boated in and covered a bunch of ground. I chose not to, out of those four jakes, I could have shot two of them. I chose not to. Still early in the season. I was waiting on a long beard. I had high intentions for the season. I had intentions on getting Max a bird, getting me a bird with a shotgun, and then, well, you can't see him, but I, I was planning on bow or crossbow in one. But just the way it worked out. I had a rough deer season. I had a rough turkey season. That just is how it is. Uh, that being said, just inventory and everything here, I'll uh, go through the whole scent ritual that I made a video on here in the past of how I scent control everything. All that stuff will get done and uh, congratulations to the people that do follow me and that I follow that did uh, harvest birds this year. Great job and uh, a special thanks to uh, Rondi from Norcar Whitetails. Man, you've been giving me shout outs for your last two videos you put out. Couldn't appreciate it anymore. Um, all you guys that support me, truly appreciate it. We'll keep knowing what we do, and uh, I enjoy watching all you guys too. You know, I try to comment on everybody's channel that I follow. I think we've got a pretty good group of people going here, and I really enjoy it. I know I only got 30 some subscribers, but I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, for those of uh, those of you guys that watch this video that didn't harvest the bird, still got to get out and enjoy nature and see things. I mean, all the critters I've seen. Um, still a fun time. I'm getting a little bit better with the video equipment here. It's still uh, uh, tough to, still tough to pack around and try to get everything in uh, in shots here. I use a GoPro for everything. I I, I like it. Uh, I got it hooked up to my phone. It makes it pretty easy, but get in that moment like with them jakes there I, I didn't have the equipment with me but it's tough to get set up on a bird as it is I and mean, you're worried about camera and everything else uh, I don't know how you do it uh, hunting farmer that guy there he sat right down on one got his stuff put out and made it happen that's awesome uh, you, you guys that do that stuff's great uh, I'm trying this is hard to do but I quit babbling on uh, congratulations to everybody that did harvest. For those of us that didn't, oh well, we it's just part of hunting. Still had a good time. Appreciate everybody for watching and stick stay with us. We'll have more quality content coming out. Thank you.